we have the basic remote. Here's the valve. I happen to have a Palmer's female stabilizer installed, connected to the remote line by a 90 degree fitting. And here's the slide check with quick disconnect female end. Slide check sleeve. What we're worried about uh, today is actually the sleeve here and the uh, slide check as far as maintenance. Right. As far as tools, we'll need a couple of crescent wrenches, paintball oil, Teflon tape, O-rings if you need to replace any, and an O-ring pick. What we'll do here is we'll take one crescent wrench at the base, tighten it down. And the other one at the quick disconnect and female. And there's a quick disconnect female end. Now in my case I happen to have Teflon tape around the threading uh, which you will have eventually. You may have Loctite currently which may make it more difficult to remove during your first time. I suggest using Teflon tape from here on out for maintenance reasons. Make sure you get all that stuff off there. Don't reuse it. And there's an O-ring right there showing you the seal for the top of the slide check sleeve. But we're going to go ahead and take that off right now. Check it for dust, excessive oil, cracks, breaks, dry rot, that sort of thing. Take off the sleeve. And here's the body. There's a couple of holes here, right there. You want to check them for burrs or nicks. See, there they are. If you find any, take like a Dremel or something to sand them down, or else they'll keep chopping up your O-rings inside, which we're going to head to inside the sleeve. They're right there. You can just reach in there and clean them out if that's all they are. If they just need to be oiled, that might be all you need to do. Take some of your plant ball oil, two to three drops on each O-ring. And then you can put the whole thing back together. However, for my case, what we're going to do is go into old ring replacement. So we're going to yank out our slide or our uh, O ring pick. Dig those suckers out. Try not to damage them. You'd be surprised how often the O rings can actually be reused. comes. And again, we're going to check for cracks and dry rotting and oiling and that sort of thing. Now, whether you're using the same ones or replacing them with new ones, you can go and put them back in. Make sure they fit completely in the groove inside there. One thing to note, though, is the difference between the top O-ring and the sleeve O-rings. The sleeve O-rings are the same size as regular tanks. that in there. Clean off the body. Make sure that, again, that these are cleaned off and that there's no burrs because if they will start to chop up your O-rings if they're not completely smooth. Put the O-ring back in place. Make sure it's in its groove. Clean all the dust out from the threadings. 
Then we're going to pick up our Teflon tape, or also known as plumber's tape. We're going to cut enough to just about equal two to three rotations around this thread. So take a sharp knife, cut a small length. two and a half roughly. Run your fingers around the threading. Kind of smooth everything out. Try to make sure that it doesn't get down inside the hole or block the hole lining. Put your quick disconnect female back on, hand tighten it down, and then go the rest of the way with your Allen or your hex wrenches. need to have it very firm but not really crank down too much also there's an o-ring deep inside the quick disconnect female me also on occasion need to replace that it's down inside there and or you could just try oiling it and as always make sure to put away your tools whenever you're done